Some of you may be familiar with the saga of the Rolls-Royce Corniche 1991 that we have documented in a few short videos before or so. That had some uh, problems uh, with the wood and so forth and how we examined the wood and made repairs and ultimately finished it. This is a steering wheel that was created for that interior and for that customer. Uh, in initial emails to him, going over the wood or in general terms, I also included a photograph of uh, a wheel that I made in 1993, which was for a Bentley Continental R. And that wheel was the first wheel I made. He decided that really was the color of wood that he wanted on the steering wheel, so he supplied another color sample set, and that's how we arrived at this particular one, and the grain and so forth. This wheel is made like all of our full wood wheels with a book match. So we have a seam here and symmetry on the uh, left and right side, same thing on the back. And this wheel is inlaid with Paldeo, a light version of Paldeo to match his interior, and two lines of boxwood, which also was used in uh, accenting the door caps and other components of that wood interior. We make it a larger grip, a little more ergonomic, more contemporary, has finger reliefs on the back side of the wheel, which is an option. And overall, it's a much more pleasing wheel than the factory generic black wheel. The four horn button layout that this one has ran from roughly 1990 when uh, airbags were introduced, Rolls-Royce in North America. And then they went in 93 to a two horn button, get eliminating the two lower ones and just keeping the upper ones. All that time, the grip was fairly small. All the wheels arrived in black leather. So it was a generic solution. And this offers a, a stunning contrast to what the factory wheel looks like. Hopefully we'll have uh, installed pictures where we can show the completed car with this wheel as the piece de resistance.